What if you could sniff like a shark? Explore the superpowers of ocean animals by Sandra Markle, illustrated by Howard McWilliam. What if you could sniff like a shark? What if one day when you woke up, you found out that overnight you gained an ocean animal superpower? What if you could shapeshift like a giant Pacific octopus? sting like an Australian box jellyfish, or have some other ocean animal's cool natural ability? How in the world would an ocean animal's superpower change your life? Great white shark. What if you could sniff like a great white shark? A great white shark doesn't sniff the way you do. It swims with its snout straight ahead, forcing water into its nostrils and through short tubes. Before the water flows out again, it passes folds of skin packed with sense-sensing cells. These send messages to the shark's brain. That's how the shark smells what's in the water. Wounded animals are easier to hunt, so a great white is always sniffing for blood. It can smell even a tiny amount up to three miles away. Where in the world? Great white sharks are most common in oceans where the water is between 54 degrees Fahrenheit and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. If you could sniff like a great white shark, you wouldn't need directions to find a donut shop. What you should know. Adult size, as long as 21 feet and weighs up to 2,400 pounds. Lifespan, around 70 years. Diet, mainly fish seals and dolphins. Growing up, a baby great white shark is called a pup. It develops inside an egg in the mother's body. At first, the pup gets the food it needs from the egg's yolk. When it leaves the egg, it continues to grow inside the mother for another 12 to 18 months. During this time, it eats undeveloped eggs, even some of its siblings. At birth, it's already five feet long, weighing about 75 pounds, and has a mouthful of sharp teeth. Caudal fin, pectoral fin, dorsal fin, gill slits. Water enters through the shark's mouth, when flows, then flows through its gills and out the gill slits. That is how it gets the oxygen it needs from the water. Wonder why? A great white shark's body has a ta- tall dorsal fin. Without it, each strong side-to-side sweep of the shark's caudal fin would roll it over. The dorsal fin keeps a swimming great white's body upright. Nostril, teeth. There are about 300 total. Two front rows are ready to bite, and the rest replace teeth as they're lost. Supercharged. If you could sniff like a great white shark, you could pinpoint smoke in time to prevent forest fires. Giant Pacific Octopus. What if you could shapeshift like a giant Pacific octopus? A giant Pacific octopus's body is boneless. The only hard parts are its parrot-like beak around its mouth and two plate-like shells inside its head where muscles attach. The rest of its big body is like a muscular balloon with flexible arms. So a giant Pacific octopus can fit through anything bigger than its hard, hardest, its largest hard body part, its beak. It can even squeeze through an opening as small as a soda pop, soda pop can. Where in the world? The giant Pacific octopus is most commonly found in shallow water. If you could shapeshift like a giant Pacific octopus, you'd never need a gate to slip through a fence. What you should know, adult size. The main body, called the mantle, is about 24 inches long, but it can be as big as 30 feet across between fully spread arms. It weighs up to 600 pounds. Lifespan, about four years. Diet, mainly clams, abalone, scallops, and fish. Growing up, a giant Pacific octopus baby is called a hatchling. It develops inside an egg as tiny as a grain of rice. Its mother lays about 100,000 eggs and sticks them along the walls of her den. She guards her eggs until the young hatch about seven months later. Only about as big as a garden pea, each hatchling swims to the surface. It floats there for about three months, eating what it can catch and growing bigger. Then it sinks back to the ocean floor to continue feeding and growing. Eye. Mantle. Siphon. Arms. 
each of the eight arms is covered with over 200 suckers to grab and hold prey. Wonder why? A giant Pacific octopus has a large siphon? It's because that siphon is the body part the octopus uses to get away from danger. The rest of the time, the siphon is simply part of the octopus's breathing process. Water enters through an opening in the mantle and passes its gills, which extract oxygen. Then the water flows out through the siphon, except when the octopus needs to move fast. Then its muscular mantle squeezes and squirts water out the siphon. At the same time, the octopus can release ink into the squirting water. That creates a dark cloud that hides the octopus when it makes its getaway. Supercharged. If you could shapeshift like an octopus, a giant Pacific octopus, you could easily squeeze onto a crowded sofa. Australian box jellyfish. What if you could sting like an Australian box jellyfish? An Australian box jellyfish has as many as 60 tentacles, stringy, flexible parts hanging from its box-shaped body. These tentacles can stretch out as far as 10 feet. Each one is covered with around 5,000 stinging cells. If the tentacles are touched or even just brushed against, these stinging cells uncoil, zap. Wherever one makes contact, it stabs, injecting venom that's deadlier than a cobra's. Even a tiny amount can, amount can cause extreme pain. Where in the world? Australian box jellyfish are mainly found in warm surface waters close to coasts. If you could sting like an Australian box jellyfish, you'd be a crime-fighting superhero. What you should know. Adult size. Its body is up to 10 inches across and weighs about 4 pounds. Lifespan. About 1 year. Diet. Mainly fish, shrimp, krill, and arrow arms. Arrow worms. Mouth. Eye. Bell. This jellyfish has a box-shaped elastic body. Tentacles. Growing up. A baby Australian box jellyfish has different names at different stages when it's growing up. Females release their eggs into the ocean. When an egg hatches, the baby is called a larva. Soon, the larva settles to the seafloor and attaches to coral or a rock. Then the larva changes shape to look just like a tiny sea anemone. During this stage, it's called a polyp, and it feeds on plankton, tiny living things in the water. After a few months, the polyp goes through a special type of reproduction called budding. This produces lots of adult jellyfish. These separate from, separate from the polyp and swim away. Wonder why? Wonder why an Australian box jellyfish has so many eyes? The jellyfish doesn't see the way people do, but it has lots of eyes, clusters of six along the lower edge of each side of its boxy body. These eyes are simply to sense light from dark. They let the jellyfish see all the way around itself so it can avoid floating debris or big predators, such as sunfish. It can also spy when small prey comes close enough to sting and eat. Supercharged. If you could sting like an Australian box jellyfish, you'd be a quarterback who never gets sacked.